Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. It's Morning Prayer for Friday, September 25th, the 17th week after Pentecost, and week 5 in the Psalm Cycle. Add the scripture for this service, Psalm 88, 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 17 to 37. And please join me in singing the fourth verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. We are God's people, we God's care, our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honor shall we rear? Almighty Maker, to Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, O Most High, God of my salvation, bend your ear to me. Alleluia, Psalm 88. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, O Most High, God of my salvation, I have cried day and night. Let my prayer come before you. Bend your ear to me. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near its end. I am counted with them that go down into the grave. I am like one who has no strength. Lost among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Your anger lies hard upon me. You have afflicted me with your waves. You have put my friends far from me and made me an abomination to them. I am imprisoned and I cannot escape. My vision fails me daily. I have called upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the dead rise and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave? or your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But to you have I cried, my God, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. My God, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? From my youth I have been afflicted and near death. I suffer your terrors and in distracted. Your fierce wrath goes over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me daily like a flood. They circled about me together. Lover and friend you have put far from me. And my companion is darkness. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O Most High, God of my salvation, bend your ear to me. Alleluia. A reading from the second book of Kings, chapter 9, beginning at verse 17. In Jezreel, the sentinel standing on the tower spied the company of Jehu arriving, and he said, I see a company. And Joram said, Take a horseman, send him to meet them, and let him say, Is it peace? So the horseman went to meet him and said, Thus says the king, Is it peace? And Jehu responded, What have you to do with peace? Fall in behind me. And the sentinel reported, saying, The messenger reached them, but he is not coming back. Then he sent a second horseman who came to them and said, Thus says the king, Is it peace? And Jehu answered, What have you to do with peace? Fall in behind me. Again the sentinel reported, He reached them, but he is not coming back. It looks like the driving of Jehu, son of Nimshi, for he drives like a maniac. Joram said, Get ready, and they got his chariot ready. Then King Joram of Israel and King Ahaziah of Judah set out each in his chariot, and went to meet Jehu. They met him at the property of Naboth, 
the Jezreelite. When Joram saw Jehu, he said, Is it peace, Jehu? He answered, What peace can there be, so long as the many whoredoms and sorceries of your mother Jezebel continue? Then Joram re reigned about and fled, saying to Azahiah, Treason, Ahaziah! Jehu drew his bow with all his strength, and he shot Joram between the shoulders, so that the arrow pierced his heart, and he sank in his chariot. And Jehu said to his aide Bidkar, Lift him out and throw him on the plot of ground belonging to Naboth the Jezreelite. For remember, when I told you, and I rode side by side behind his father Ahab, how Yahweh uttered this oracle against him. For the blood of Naboth and for the blood of his children that I saw yesterday, says Yahweh, I swear I will repay you on this very plot of ground. Now, therefore, lift him out and throw him on the plot of ground in accordance with the word of the Most High. And when King Ahaziah of Judah saw this, he fled in the direction of Beth Hagan. And Jehu pursued him, saying, Shoot him also, and they shot him in the chariot at the ascent to Gur, which is by Ebelim. And then he fled to Megiddo and died there. His officers carried him in a chariot to Jerusalem and buried him in his tomb with his ancestors in the city of David. In the eleventh year of Joram, son of Ahab, Ahaziah began to reign over Judah. And when Jehu came to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it. She painted her eyes and adorned her head and looked out of the window. As Jehu entered the gate, she said, Is it peace, murderer of your master? And he looked up to the window and said, Who is on my side? Who? Two or three eunuchs looked out at him, and he said, Throw her down. And so they threw her down. And some of her blood spattered on the wall and on the horses, which trampled on her. And then he went in and ate and drank, and he said, See to that cursed woman and bury her, for she is a king's daughter. But when they went to bury her, they found no more of her than the skull and the feet and the palms of her hands. When they came back and told him, he said, This is the word of Yahweh, which he spoke by his servant Elijah the Tishbite. In the territory of Jezreel, the dogs shall eat the flesh of Jezebel. The corpse of Jezebel shall be like dung on the field in the territory of Jezreel, so that no one can say, this is Jezebel. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Bend your ear to us, O dear God, and accept our thanks in the morning. Have compassion on us and save us, for you are the God of our salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.